So how's it going, everybody? Hey, hello here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am. Right now, I'm just sorting out some of my cases because I have a fucking load of them. Surprise, surprise, eh? But I also have keys for all of them. At least, as far as I'm aware, I have keys for all of them. And we're going to do a massive unboxing today, and this will be going up on the channel. So, I hope you guys are in for a good old treat. Now, we're starting off with the... Uh, we have, in fact, also got some new cases in here as well. Let me, let me just have a look, see if I can see it. There he is, that's the new cosmetic case. Haven't seen anything actually inside it yet. Only got one of these. At the current moment in time, next month I'll probably have some more. I'm going to be playing a bit more TF2. But I thought I had already bought all these for it last time I was playing last time they sorted out the box. But I thought I might as well go through and just open up all of them, all of my cases for you guys. So yeah, starting off with the 2023 cosmetic collection. Now we have got a few of these. But the brother man, that's what I want. I want the brother man. Don't care about these two, I'll be honest. I want the brother man. That's what I actually want. But we're starting off with the 2023 Cosmetic Summer Collection. So, starting off with this one first of all. Do you know what I should have done? Ooh. The Fire Stalker. What I need to do right now is, in fact, move all of these down here so that anything that I get will automatically go at the top over here and we'll be able to see what we've actually got then a little bit easier so anyway let's carry on then next one we have is the 2022 winter cosmetic case uh i don't know what i want from this one to be honest i'll be honest like the tattoos yeah don't exactly know what i want from this one not too bothered to be fair what i get from this one fairly solid all around with it so we'll open him and we have in fact gotten ourselves it looks like a sniper outfit nice little woolly jacket for him he'll love it and then we've got a paint collection so looks like we have the 2023 summer paint collection war paint we'll give this one a quick open up see what we get in him Oh. I have a few of these. I'm not that much of a fan of it. There are better better ones in that collection. It's not a bad one by any means. Next one, we have in fact got the Winter 2021 crate. So we're going to be opening that up. I haven't got a lot other than blue in this one. So hopefully we'll get something that isn't blue. Oh, that... Is that the one that I didn't have? I think that's the one I didn't have in that collection. It was. That is the only blue that I didn't have. Who's that for? That goes on everybody. Oh, okay. That's nice to know. Anyway, moving on. Next one is our summer 2022 crate that we have got. We'll be opening this bad boy up. Now that's not bad. Now, I, I'm a sucker for Hawaiian shirts, so naturally, love this one. Looks like we're going on to the Screen Fortress 14? Ivy? Yeah, 14. So, we'll have a quick look at him. I've only got one out of these, which is the Health of Hells wall paint. Health and Hells, so, hopefully not that one, but I'm not that particularly worried either way. You know what? That's not bad. I... I prefer the red version, I'll be honest, and the blue version, but that's not bad war paint by any means. Ghoulish Games Collection. Open that motherfucker up with a key. Get him opened up. Ooh. Firearm Protector. Now, I've got to keep an eye on these, make sure I don't get too many. Uh, so let's have a quick look. See, just a soldier item not that bad to be fair. Quite nice actually, I think. Yeah, that's not bad. Not a bad item. I said we've got this one for the sniper, that one for the pyro, that one's an all class, that one for the demo man. 
So doing all right so far. Making headway into this. Uh, next we have in fact got the Screen Fortress 12 collection. Now some of these probably cost a fair amount of money, these cases, but meh. What is it at the end of the day? Ooh, we got a strange spider season war paint. Ooh. I do like good old strange war paint. No, don't use, do not use. Inspect that item. I just want to have a look. Oh, it, both teams are the same colour. That's the one thing I forget to do is change the colour over to have a look. Anyway, our next one is in fact the Wicked Windfall Collection. Now, for some weird reason, I always seem to miss out the Halloween events in TF2. I just experience burnout before I get there. I'm pretty sure the Goblin Ear is one that I already have. I have a feeling. That's the Engineer, isn't it? Yeah. So I go over to Engineer. Do I have the Goblin Ear? You know what? I'm not seeing it here. I don't think I do, you know. Yeah, I don't have the Goblin Ear. Okay, that's alright then. A fine addition to my collection. As we move around to the 2020 Winter Warpaint collection. Get this bad boy open and see what we got in here. We in fact got on ourselves some gingerbread. Now, is any of the accents that change? I can I can see myself using this. See myself using it. As we move ourselves along to the 2020 cosmetic collection, we have got every single blue in this because this is just how bad my luck is. Oh, do love some medic PJs. Tower rat. Mm, yeah. Anyway, let's see what we get from this one as we move along. Here's we got ourselves a professional pom pom sniper. I want to say, is it? Ooh, ooh, glass. So we are getting, in fact, getting ourselves some nice winter wear as well, which is going to be great for when winter comes around. Opening up our 2021 case, we don't have a lot in the 2021 case. I said the thing is, is that obviously I've been I've been playing the game for a while. Strange count transfer tool. But I tend not to um oh I I'll be honest, I haven't I didn't play that much when uh the bot crisis and all that lot was going on. I wish I had, but I get to I get annoyed at the game fairly easily and I didn't want that to also spark me being annoyed at the game, so I chose to stay away from the actual game rather than get myself involved and cause problems for myself when I shouldn't do. So yeah. As we open up the next crate that we have, we got ourselves the Sarsaparilla Sprayed Wall Paint. That's kind of cool, it's got all the mercs on it. You'd want like a big canvas for that though, to get as many mercs on it as possible. That's going to be pipe bro. Yeah, that looks sick by the way. Uh, let's just inspect it real quick. That's just the wall paint. So if I put it on the soda popper, yeah, you see? Like you'd, you wouldn't want it on a wrench because it's you can't see the images. Shotgun. Shotgun's actually a pretty good shout for it though because you can see all the images on it. That's not bad. As we move ourselves along, our next one is in fact the Crimson Cash Collection which has a load of Halloween probably exclusive items in it. I imagine. But here we go opening it up anyway. And we've got probably the scariest mask I've ever seen. Next to just natural... Ooh, the spy can have it. Great, so I can have a mask over my mask. Fantastic. And the next one we're moving in is the Rainy Day Cosmetic Collection. Now, I have opened a few of these before. I do like that one, but we're not going to get that one. I like all the medieval stuff. The medieval stuff's cool. Uh, it's... A pipe dream because it's literally the only ones that I don't get from any of these other than Lord Buckethead over here which I think I use on my demo man still every now and then so oh we got two items we got ourselves the archers hat which is what I wanted and we got ourselves a Halloween kill ooh got ourselves a spooky stat track 
that's going to be sniper, hell yeah. Gotta love a good old sniper kit build up. The next one is in fact Unleash the Beast Cosmetic Collection. Yet again, uh, this was probably released after I had, during the bot crisis or something like that, so I never actually spent the time to actually play, well, play the game, because I'll be, oh, or it could have been Jungle Inferno. This looks like it could be Jungle Inferno, to be fair. If it is Jungle Inferno, I didn't play too much because at the time I was a spy main. And the reason why I'm no longer a spy main is because I took three years off the game because they released the pyro update and I generally believe it actually broke uh, spy more than it should have by buffing the pyro. It stopped the balance that the two classes had together. As we move on next anyway is the abominable... Abominable? Cosmetic collection. I feel like I'm not reading that right for some reason. Have a quick look at these. Yet again, more... These look like they're man stuff. That looks like it's part of the man uh, update. Is it man update? I forget which one it was. I feel like it's the man update. Uh, pretty much there was a community made update that fell through. And some of this stuff's looking like it was from that. I think it was the man update. It was meant to be like jungle, foresty kind of stuff. And it looked cool. You know, it was a proper good looking update. But it looks like we're getting two items again. We're getting a name tag for this one. And oh, we're also getting the utility idol. Now that looks cool. What does our utility idol go to? An engineer idol. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Anyway, uh, how much space have we got still on this? Uh, we might have to move some of these to other locations. I'm going to throw some of these into other locations. Throw them into 37 for now. So that when... So I don't want to fill this area up, so... It's probably will be cut from the video anyway. Do I have a second, second, do I have a second, second banana? I think I might be, you know. So it's not the one I'm using currently, because it's there quick time. Got another diamond back, I see. Always good to see where... That one has vitality. Up there. These two need to go into this area so that they're not in the way. Okay. And we're back. So what I was just doing then is I was moving all the stuff off of page one so that we can then get a better look. What I might do is put all of our wall paint down here as well as our utility stuff just so we get a little bit of a little bit more uniform to it don't get me wrong, it's not going to change that much but there we go anyway, carrying on with where we left off it looks like we've got the jungle jackpot collection yet again, not really an update I took too much of a part in although I did get the one, the banana peel mm, beautiful Banana weapons are the best weapons. Pretty sure I had a knife that was banana peel. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up and see what we got inside. Looks like we've got ourselves unusual war paint. Hell yeah. Now that is what we like to see, game. We got ourselves an unusual, everybody. Let's just have a quick look, see what we look like. Oh, look at that. Or if only I could put it on a stat track, eh? It's not in a bad condition either. What if I just randomise it? Oh. Randomises the, uh... Ah, I could change the colour of the handle and all that lot. That's nice. But it's nice to have an actual unusual one, because... I'll be honest, I've only got like two unusuals. And it's nice to actually unbox one. So the next one we're moving on to is in fact the Infernal Reward uh, paint case. 
Uh, yeah, again, looks like it's one well, of the ones that came out. Yeah, it's Jungle Inferno, so one that I wasn't really partaking in the game as much as I would like to have been. But oh, there was reason for it, so. What have we got here? We have got ourselves. Clover Camoed. War paint. Ew. I don't know about that one. Let's have a little look. See how it looks on an airstrike or something like that. The airstrike is like the best weapon to just look at skins because it just blows them up massively. I mean, it's not bad. Problem is, there's no like Irish character I can think of. No. Right, so. Four Leaf Clover probably ain't gonna like. Not really something I care that much about, you know. Anyway, we're getting low on this first page by the looks of it. Looks like we've got three cases left. Going with the... Oh, I'm going to save the 2024 one until last. I think that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, we're saving the 2024 one till last. Uh, yet again, I wasn't playing over this winter, so all of any of these are new. Uh, let's see... Ooh, bloody Santa. That's nice. Ooh. Now, the problem is, I've got too many options for medic. Okay, for jacket for medic. But that is really nice. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't say no. Let's put it like that. <clears throat> anyway, let's open up this crate and see what we've got inside. We got ourselves a bigger man on campus. That's got to be heavy, right? Yeah, heavy. I I can, I'll use that. That looks good. That does. Uh, 2017 winter collection. Uh, 2017 winter collection. Now I've obviously had done a few unboxings of these because I use that for my medic at the current moment in time. Yeah, I've definitely opened up a few of these. I think I just got a load of pocket Santas from them though. I think I had like three pocket Santas. And then I told myself I weren't going to open any more because I'd had enough of them. <laughs> so let's open up this lovely 2017 case. I think it said. <gasps> we got the husky. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm not. I, I'm. As someone who likes huskies, oh my god, and it's an all class husky. Hell yeah. R proper ride or die husky. I don't know why I've got these, but no cases for them. Maybe they might appear in a couple of minutes. Anyway, we're moving on now to the Blue Moon Cosmetic Collection. Yet again, this is one that I've definitely opened a few cases on. Uh, I still use the Spy Get Up every now and then for it. That'd be nice for the soldier. Um, let's have a little look. Medic Tire is always welcome. The Bomb Squad hat for the demo. Oh, that'd be nice. Anyway, let's open her up and see what we've got inside the Blue Moon cosmetic case. Oh, we got two items, first of all. Looks like we got ourselves the Trudon Top. And we got ourselves a Mango ticket. Tora Duke ticket. Definitely not going to say no to one of them. That's an all class thing. Hell yeah. Uh, where is my Tor ticket? There we go. I'll get some friends to play tours with. Anyway, as we move on to the Violet Vermin collection. Now, the problem with... That's a cool hat. Uh, the problem with the uh, these particular cosmetics is that some of them are just um, Halloween only. And because I don't tend to play that much Halloween or full moon stuff, it tends to just not get used and it's really unfortunate because I'm not going to spend loads of money on getting loads of active, activate them all but saying that I can definitely build a case for that wait I got shell of a man wait a minute was that even part of that I got two cosmetics wait a minute what? so that one wait a minute I'm, I'm confused Wait a minute, how, how did I even get that? that was, that's not part of... 
That wasn't part of the crate, was it? Give me a sec, I'm gonna have to have a look. Inspect item. Yeah, it's not part of it. How did I get this? How did I get this? Wait a minute, I wanna just, I, I'm just having a quick look on Steam real quick. Have a look at the uh, wiki. Uh, so my crate is cosmetic. For engineer, it gives engineers to be worn on Halloween, yeah, 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 yeah. A man is contributed to the Steam Workshop, added to the game. Okay. It just, it, very weird drop. I don't know how I ended up with this. But you know what? I'm not going to say no, it looks kind of cool. Also, I also realised that the pyro thing isn't Halloween exclusive, unlike that one. Yeah, we got Screen Fortress 10. Uh, I was around for this, I was just very much against war paints at the time, because they were fairly new. And uh, I was like, I don't want to paint my gun. And there's still a little bit of that kicking around for myself, I'll be honest. I don't paint guns as much as I probably should do. I say I've got all of these from the last time I've done unboxing. That one's not a bad one either. But I want to know what you guys think I should paint the... Or see what the unusual is. Anyway, moving on to the winter 2018 case. Now, this is when I did have a little bit of money behind me. And I did open a few of these, but yet again, my luck is exactly as poor as it can be. So I ended up with stuff that I don't really use or care for. I say that, I love that. That is one of my favourite ones. The Wise Whiskers just make, it makes an old Wise Engineer load out beautifully. You know. Uh, but it does look like we've got the, the Catcher's Companion, which is Bird, and Bird is always good. For the Scout, ooh, very nice. As we move on to the 2019 Cosmetic Collection, Yet again, I've kind of fallen off at this point for TF2. I haven't played it in a while. I think I was on PlayStation at the time. 2019. I'd be, I'd have been on PlayStation. Playing Rainbow Six Siege and stuff like that. The Bobby Bonnet. I wouldn't mind a Bobby Bonnet. I wonder who that's for. It's gotta be for demo, right? Come on, Bobby Bonnet, I think. We go for on that one. Oh, we got two items. What we got first? Sniper jacket, the wag wag wearer. Wag a wag a wear. And we got ourselves another Manco ticket, Tour of Duty ticket. Oh yeah, yeah again, that will not say no to that. Uh not that one, that one. There we go. Anyway, moving on to the spooky spoils collection. Have a little look. As you can see, yeah again, weren't playing over the uh time when they came around. Oh, look at that, that's cool. Red Mar. Now, these are cool cosmetics, but yet again, I always worry about this stuff. Just because of what it is, you know? So anyway, moving ourselves on. Looks like that Pyro, Strange Party Poncho. I feel like that's Pyro, and I don't know why it's Soldier. Huh? That's very interesting. I thought it was going to be Pyro. I will be honest with you. Anyway, it looks like we're moving on to the t Winter 2019 collection for paint. As you can see, I did open up a couple of these when I got them. Obviously, I didn't get anything good in any of them. Hopefully, we'll get something a little bit better. Oh, took a little bit of time to wait for a sponsor. We are putting too much stress on the uh, game, it turns out. It is having trouble. Anyway, as we move on, we've got the 2019 Cosmetic Collection again. Let's have a little look yet again. This is one that I have opened crates crate for before. Uh, Citizen Kane looks pretty cool. Uh, Bumblebee would always be good. Spiky, uh, spiky Viking. Always happy to have a Spiky Viking. I have a winter wrap-up 
in unusual. I forgot about that. I thought the candy cane crash. Public speaker's cool. I like the public speaker. Let's see what we get. 2019 cosmetic collection. Let's see what we got. Christmas one. Oh, we got the penguin. Pebbles. Very nice. See, he's an all class. So realistically, if I have enough one, should be over here somewhere. All right? No, that's soldier. Yeah, it should be over here if I have enough one of those. Uh, not seeing it though. Oh no, I do have one. Already. Oh well. Naturally. As we move around to the 2020 summer collection. Let's uh, open up the summer 2020 cosmetic collection. I played a little bit I think in 2020, not too much though. We've got a strange breach and bomb though. And that is another soldier loadout. So, soldier's looking pretty good. So far, got a fair bit for him. Uh, moving on over to our lovely 2017 winter collection. I haven't opened any of these because yet again it was at a time when I was thoroughly against war paint coming to PS2. And yeah, nothing, not that special. I kind of like the blue. I like the blue one better than the red one, but. Nothing that special as far as that's concerned. We're moving down to the last lot that we've got. Our last one that we'll be opening is the 2024 cosmetic crate. Uh, we're going starting off with the tough break cosmetic case though. Open with key. Now, I am missing one thing from this. So, there's a high chance I don't get something new. That is not something new. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh god, wait, wait, since when did I have all of these? God damn, which one am I missing? The world wrap hat, to be fair. I'm not even that mad. I don't care for the world wrap hat that much. These look sick, though, so. I'm not that bothered. Uh, so we got the Mayflower Cosmetic Crate next. Yet again, this is one that I have opened a bunch for. But haven't got any any unusuals and just look at the lineup for unusuals you can get on these we are missing a few nothing that bad but nothing too great either let's open her up and see what we've got we got ourselves some knee pads which said surgical survivor so medic ooh got ourselves some knee pads for the medic helps him suck the, I mean uh Anyway, moving on to the Creepy Crawly collection from 2016. This was a uh, full swing of me not playing <laughs> uh, oh, over the Halloween period. So, and it, 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 that's what I thought the other one was. That's what I thought the um, oh, heavy one was. I thought it was that one. I kind of want that hat, you know, the shark hat, kind of want the shark hat, you know, or the heavy tourism one, because I love the, I love the idea of it, anyway, let's open her up, 2016 crate, we got some surgical items, the surgical sidearm, surgeon sidearm, gotta love them, ain't ya, look at those, yep, for medic, medic's getting kitted out all of a sudden, eh? He's kitting himself out. Anyway, we've got every single one of these taunts in this audition reel. But we're going to open it again anyway and figure out what we, what is actually left. So opening her up, we have in fact got that in a thousand. Very nice taunt. Not great, but very nice taunt nonetheless. I think I've un probably boxed about 700 of those. It feels like, because so I used to... When that crate was available, I did in fact unbox like 20 of them just to see what I got because I ended up getting a unusual one if I remember correctly. Wait a second, let me just... So this one is the 2016 Cosmetic Collection. Uh, this one's unlocked, so... Uh, realistically, I don't, I don't know how unlocked crates work. I'm not really that bothered either. I kind of want the electric wrangle. 
you know. What I don't want is the fox hat. But we're opening it anyway. Let's open our wrap, shall we? We got two items. We got ourselves a teammate's extinguish. We also got ourselves a festivizer. And we got ourselves a backpack. Now, as far as money's value is concerned, that is fucking sweet. If you ask me, who do you belong to, engineer? Still dispense the backpack? Oh, love it. Summer collect. <coughs> Summer paint collection for 2023. Uh, I did a massive unboxing of these last year, about this time to be fair, when they um, oh, first attempted to fix the game. We we'll call it, we'll call it the first draft, and then fixing the game. Uh, the Warbens war paint, eh, not bad, I guess. It looks like it's fairly scratched up, so I'm not too bothered about it. But could be better, could be worse. Moving on to the Summer 2023 Cosmetic Collection. You can tell that I was playing during this time because I was just saving the crates up. I don't know if I actually have the correct stuff to actually open all of these. I hope that I do because I don't have any more money. I still want the brother man. Still want the brother man. Come on, brother man. Brother man, brother man, brother man. Manco ticket. Oh, old man up here just there. We got ourselves the heavy metal, and we got ourselves a dueling mini game. I haven't, I haven't had a dueling mini game for ages. Um, where would I even put? Oh, no mind. I lied. I have three of them. I, I didn't think I had. I haven't used it in ages. But saying that, I haven't played this game that much in ages. So, kind of makes sense, I guess. Anyway, let's uh, carry on with our summer 2023. Uh, did that say get key? It did, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, get key for that one. Oh, we have in fact gotten ourselves a winter 2023 crate to open. So, we'll open that one up. And for our winter 2023, we got the clue hairdo. Now, that is sick. Isn't this guy look fly as hell? And last but not least, we have in fact gotten ourselves the 2024 Cosmetic Collection. Now, I haven't seen any of these, but this is obviously the new one that's come out. I'm going to be saving these up, and then probably opening them all when Halloween comes around. Just any more that I get of these. That's just a hat stand. It is. I wonder how that equips to people. I'll be honest. This is a strong box. I like... I might... Like if I don't have that many of them, I might end up buying a load of them. Because they look sick as hell. Oh, we're getting more than one item. We've got ourselves a backpack extender. Hell yeah. we also got ourselves the big star, which I think... I think, I do believe that is engineer as well. Yeah. Let's get ourselves a lovely, fresh platform to work with, as far as engineer is concerned. Um... Let's put that on. Uh, put the idol on, and we'll put that on for a minute. I mean, he looks cool like that, right? 